His sons are high-level wrestlers. They're producing a lot of submission wins for a striking school. And as we said earlier, you can expect that Wonder Boy in and out style, but they bring that one. Yeah, you, I and you're starting to see that. These two guys start going, you're going to be like, these guys lost? Yeah. These guys lost their debut? But I guarantee you both men have gotten a lot better since then. Let's see what happens. Lots of composure from the young man, Sam. Heavy pressure from Quincy, very twitchy, very explosive, very loaded. Loose and athletic from Sam. Big slip and miss. Sam Sam. Lots so many of people would have just jumped on that trip, too. Yep. Sam knows that he has the whole fight. Great feints already from Sam. You know what? That's how you beat someone that's twitchy. Big step in knee yeah, from Sam. Nice step in knee. And now, now they're, they're right tying up right in front of, front of, of us. The, uh, Heavy away. underhooks from Quincy. Sam's doing a great job of sitting out. He's staying off that hip. Good job adjusting the hands back, staying busy. We just got neither one. Yep, neither one of them are waiting for each other. You'll see that neither one is stopping. They're both staying ready, 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 ready. Oh, big spin from Sam to the body. Just a little slow to get back to his base, yeah. and it opens up that takedown for oh. Quincy Evans. Goes to grab the cage. We got Quincy in on that takedown. That spin opened He's up. We're going to get a big slam coming. He's locking up He's that body. Decision. Big slam. Takes him right to his corner. Smart move. Sam had a little bit of a little bit of uh, a decision like delay there. He was he was he had a lot of options. Well, like he, he was what he about. did is he hit that spin kick and he admired his own work. No, I meant like oh. once he got taken into the air, he looked like oh, he, he went to oh. full guard and then he kind of said, sitting no, there going I don't like, where am I going? Yeah, if he pulled guard, he'd been dropped on his head. He had to stay yeah, off to the exactly. side. Yep. It was smart and adjustment that, yep. on the fly. And, and he started going out to the side up top and he's still working out from the ground. Like, yeah. I, t like I tell people a lot in practice, you see, he's, he's walking push out from the arm bar. This looks good for you, Sam Kaipik. Yep. Oh, he's sitting out heavy. He's attacking the leg. Quincy adjusting well. And this is a good Rolls defense, over. though. This is a decent defense. He's but keeping it tight on. Both so hands long. back on that arm. Gonna, Another big slam. Oh, there's a big scramble off. Nice Man, escape. Sam is very patient. He's always looking at keeping space with those frames. That saved them big time. Big hook return from Quincy. Sam is doing the right thing of floating and settling, floating and settling. He's an explosive guy. You Very know, explosive. explosive. I mean, he just got out of that arm Where, bar basically with just raw strength. The, he might parry his way out. The, of these it. these two guys are in front of each other, but they're at, like like Quincy's very much in the middle. Now Sam Flip is attacking outside for, arm. He's got yeah. that Kimura grip, and he's looking to flip. Oh, him over. he's standing back to the with the Kimura he's grip. He's just too strong. If you're going to attack a Kimura grip on a guy he's like Quincy Evans, leg. you need to have a great angle on it because if he's stronger than you, he'll just be able oh, to keep his arm. He's now, sitting back well with the introduction and, of the and legs. And now he's sitting his hips out like Sam is doing a great job. I say all the time, don't put your butthole towards the mat. Everything has to be out, 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 out. And now it's a stalemate a bit. He's doing a job of like Quincy's locking the arm and, and keeping that butt to the ground now. Great job of getting Oh, now Sam Clampett's right on another arm, which oh, forces Quincy to retreat. Hammer but fist. now he's just pounding him. Oh. This is a big position here. Now he's yeah. flat, but he introduced, he goes back to turtle. Sam's getting a little caught up on the cage right here. This is tough. Th these are tough rounds to simulate in the gym. Ooh. Ooh. Big finish from Quincy, lots of pressure. I'm really impressed with how young Sam is and how much composure he has. Yeah, and he looks pretty calm considering. Yeah. considering. That was a big, big round for Quincy Evans. Lots of takedown attempts. He exploded out of that submission, which which was very well attacked by Sam yeah. Klepek. Kept his arm during the yep. Kimura, didn't get caught in the arm bar at the end. I mean, yeah. he's, it's a constant wrestling pressure versus a submission threat. And you'll see that there are two different levels of high-low. Sam is like, high low where Quincy is changing levels in that mid range. Yes. Where Sammy's either all the way up or all the way down, where Quincy is in that middle and he's staying high low inside that middle with his face, his level changes, his twitches. And that's where he's getting all that explosion from. If you stay in that middle, you stay explosive. But these two guys are sticking to their guns and I love fights like that. And they're both doing the right things to defend too. They're not getting ahead of their defense. And we have the best seats in the house for it. Unbelievably so. This second round here brought to you by Cruz Chevrolet of Charleston. Back to measuring, Sam with the composure. Quincy a little bit longer, now he's twitching the hips. He's missing a bit more. I'd like That's to what, see Sam experiment Ooh, with the feet. Good step in counter, big explosion <laughs> from Quincy. 
If, yeah, if he can keep it on the feet, I'd like to see Sam experiment a little bit more with the open striking because he Matt, was doing very well in the he's first work, round. He's, work, he's using that guillotine attempt to try and sit his hips out. He sits back in for the guillotine, but that's a bad place to try and sit in. That's a hard guy to have on top of you. It's the cage wall too, right? The cage wall, The cage yeah. wall makes it very hard to extend, but in the great words of Cody Malte, you don't always need to extend. Right. Bury your chin in their trap. Yes. Use your legs to press them body inside away. of you. Like, right. And he's talked about it before where you kind of like fold inside a little bit to make it go deeper. Sam he is Clapping. a guillotine master. Back in his full guard again. And you have to think that all Quincy's thinking about is avoiding the submission attempt. You that, already see yeah. him go overhand on that, on that one arm, trying to kind of isolate, isolate, isolate. But it's going to be so hard when you're dealing with that cage wall. You know, this is one of the reasons why Fedor never fought in a cage or, or tried to avoid fighting in a cage right. as often as he could because it changes the game. We've got Sam trying to sit out, but like, when, and you're saying it right, when you have the ropes, Oh, Sam it's a Clampett now rotating on that oh, arm. Oh, he, he rotates, rotates over on the arm bar. And he's doing the right thing. I think that Sam is not so much trying to finish his submissions, he's trying to create escapes. The defense that Quincy is working for that arm, by the way, is he's sucking his arm into his stomach and then kind of pulling out of the guard. That's creating an opportunity for him to just stand up, but he clearly wants this fight on the ground and he wants it on top. Yeah, now we've and got it, Sam trying to get his hips back out. And as long as he's going to continue to pressure himself on top like this, he's going to have to deal with constant submission attack threat from... Oh, big sit-over from Quincy. He's going to start attacking side control heavy here. He's doing the right thing of keeping that ear glued into Sam's chest. Yeah. The pressure from that, I tell people, man, like, yeah, like, MMA is cool until you wind up in positions like this. Correct. To be Sam Kleback, and you see he's calm, but it's forcing him to take big breaths. Yep. That's a big reset. This is exhausting, even with frames trying to sit out, like... There's no damage from shots, but that pressure from Quincy and this back and forth, this up and down, that is the hardest part. To go for a oh, throw, but, but ends up man, being dumped on his head by Quincy. He's sitting out to attract. Oh, was he going for oh, an knee bar? Quincy very, sits over for a oh, head and arm choke. Oh, yeah, I was about to say he's isolated that head and arm. But and I saw you saw him measuring it out on the cage. He was attacking that chest into the ear. He was sitting out. He was going to try and see if Sam was defending that side. He sits out to the other and immediately attacks. Yeah, when you're against a jujitsu guy like this. One of the best things you can do is try to put his neck in that yeah. cage wall so that he can't attack things like this. However, the thing about Samuel Klaipak, I think, is as we talk about it all the time, he's a oh, jiu-jitsu guy, sit out again. he's, he's a little too comfortable bar. here. He is. Here's how you beat a jiu-jitsu guy. You beat him up in the guard. It's yes. just like, how do you beat a striker in MMA? You beat him to the jab. Yeah. You beat him to their comfort zone. Yeah. And right now, Quincy is bringing a fight everywhere. Sam is now trying to go. I have to go here to stay safe. Yeah. So Quincy is making him just repeat this pattern that gives him more and more control. Sam's now going like, man, I just don't want to get hurt. Yeah, and Quincy's got a great awareness of that of yes. that top game as well because when he passes, he doesn't pass to the front side of Sam. He passes to the back. You can be a great guy on the bottom. You can be Tony Ferguson on the bottom, but when somebody passes to your left side like that and is rotating you the other way, there's no submission you can hit from there. There's zero. So yeah. the submission ability goes down to zero percent, and a guy like Quincy just makes you carry and, him. And, and now Sam, you and you see it from the first round of the second round. Second round, he's going one action at a time to get out. The first round, he was trying to continuously adjust. Scrambly. So now let's see if Quincy gets back on top this third round, what Sam's going to do and try to get uh, to get out, and he might just get stuck underneath Quincy again this round. Yeah, if I'm Samuel Claypeck, I, you cannot be content to be on the ground here. You've yeah. got to try to keep it standing because in the standing, it, it looks okay for him, but we haven't seen enough of it to know if he's a better stand-up fighter. And Quincy, the gym that he comes from, they're very comfortable on the outside. Where Sam was standing, he'd probably win the fight on the outside, but Quincy coming from that Kenpo school, they're very comfortable out there. He's good at controlling that middle to explode Immediately in. Immediately the level fight. change here. From Great Quincy adjustments, Evans. just sucking him down. Yeah. Oh man! And this is what I meant. Now Sam is going to just defensive jujitsu position. Very high Aston esque, uh, like very high uh, like takedown there, using utilizing the opponent's like weight against them in a way. Like if you take their legs away, it doesn't matter how good their defense is. Heavy ground and pound from Quincy right here in front of us. And now he's going to go. Great side control. Quincy's going to avoid that single. He's, he yeah. looks like he's maybe looking for that single the leg race. Position. Yeah, it looks like he's going to try and go for a guillotine just to create a panic right here. Yeah, right here in front of us here on the Cruz Chevrolet logo. Like, this is a great time to then, like, if you can, like, attack the guillotine, keep your shoulder on top, it's a great time to go into to, uh, heavy uppercuts 
And then, oh, he's really trying to get that neck across. Yep. He should shoot back in or strike. Yeah, he's back on the body. Now he's on the back. This is one of the easiest positions to mat return. Man, this ear control from Quincy is monstrous. And this is the position I'm talking about. Yeah. When you're in this position as a bottom guy, if you can be the best bottom guy in the world, you can be Charles Oliveira. You're not submitting anybody from right no. here. You got to do something yep. to get your guard Th back. This is that traditional yourself. wrestling versus BJJ stalemate that happens with the cage in MMA. Yes. How does the BJJ guy try to get the, to get the half side but if you've ever, or if you've, full guard? If you've been watching MMA a long time, you know that in pride, the BJJ guy would just continuously scoot back the ropes, until yeah. he could get reset, right? Ooh, but he cannot do that in the cage. In front of us. Oh, now Quincy, Quincy is attacking with the ground blows, and pound in front of us. And he's got that big brother chicken control. Wing. Yeah, chicken he's wing. got the chicken wing in there right there, man. Classic and wrestling. As you said it, big brother position. Mm -hmm. Sam Great like reshot from Sam. Sam. He's, he needs to work out to the back right He's here. He's still in there. Yeah, great overhook control from Quincy back off. This is great cage work from these two schools right here. But big he's going shot strength from Quincy. For strength with a guy like Quincy after he's gotten tired already. Oh, big kick from Sam. Sam is still staying in this fight. Big wow. shot in. Nice, nice takedowns from Sam. That was one of the most clean single leg so shoots clean. you're going to see. A very see, nice duck under that, from that, Sam. And that's a great non wrestling wrestling for MMA transition right there, where he shoots in for a great single and then sits back on it. He's cradling him now. And now he sits out. Oh, weird. Oh, Quincy, Quincy, Quincy takes the, the back. He's rotating. He kept him. the hook in and took the back. He's sitting out. Yeah, he kept trying to swing in for butterflies. Quincy's tired on the feet now. That was a great knee from, from Sam. Sam sitting out for a guillotine now? No. I think he's just oh, a little too Quincy's tired. A li he turned his hips back over and yeah, got back on top. Yeah, he's just a little too tired. He's going strength for strength. Like, he's putting himself yeah. in positions where he's got to match Quincy's strength, Ooh, and he's just not going to do that. Big airborne knees from Quincy. Heavy Quincy ground bounce right into mount, mount to finish out he's the fight. He's got seconds. He's got Samuel short Clay time. Peck wow. survives. Yeah. Samuel Claypeck survives an onslaught for so Quincy So, I'll Evans. say this. The only thing that happened with this fight is that it was a boy versus a man. Sam was trying to do everything right, but he could not fight back like a man. You have to fight back with frames in fights like that. You have to fight back with consistency. Quincy was bringing too much at one time. So Sam, I think, was uh, trying to fight back at Quincy's fight too much. Yeah. However, it was paying off a little bit at the end. Quincy was not expecting that but Quincy was ready for it. In that last round, Sam was just showing, hey, I'm still here. Yeah. But then it became about surviving the round at the end. Once a guy like Quincy Evans is in mount and he's throwing bombs on you and he's not that tired, yeah. it is a nightmare. And all we can see Sam do at the end And, and what's up is, and, and I feel for Steve Montgomery right here because this kid's Sam Kleback. Oh, like, these are the fights you have to have as an amateur. If you want to have a future in this, you're 19 and you're already fighting like that against a specimen like Quincy, that's a bright future skill. There's a lot of positives that Sam's gonna have to take back from this loss. However, Quincy, he should keep doing what he's doing. And Quincy Evans picks up the UD out of that. I guess the judges were watching that fight. <laughs> no one was playing Candy Crush. Yeah.